Hello and welcome back Aquarius. I appreciate your time and your energy. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be a collective general reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. We are going to get some cards out Aquarius from my beautiful deck, the Enchanted Tarot. I already pre-shuffled, okay? And we're going to go ahead and get three cards out. One will represent where your soul is in this relationship for mid-October. Look at this, King of Swords. You want to talk, right? So well, let's get back into this. Wow, that popped out. So you are here, Aquarius. You want to be heard. You want to be known, okay, with the King of Swords, okay? It's clear thinking, okay, in Libra season. So your sister sign, like I feel, moving into Scorpio season, which will be eclipse season. This is the energy here of you cutting out and detaching, preparing, okay, Aquarius, giving the honest truth there and standing your ground. This is the only king that's standing, so you're ready to conquer. You're ready to take action. You've learned a very valuable lesson right now, and I feel that you are detached right now, okay? You're taking on something, and you're being very intellectual about it right now, and you're being honest and truthful, Aquarius, whether you're a man or a woman. You are standing your ground. You are expressing your truth in a situation. For some of you, you're cutting someone out here. This is detaching, okay? So let's see what the kiss of faith is. One card for the kiss of faith. Well, we got the two cards we needed. So I feel the kiss of faith is the nine of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. And I feel the prince of hearts is your person. This is their energy here, of your significant other. You could be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign here, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. <clears throat> Let's put the energy here. There it is, Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're breaking out of something here that you felt very trapped in, okay? Like I feel for some of you, uh, Queen of Wands, whether you're a woman or a man, uh, you could have been felt, Aquarius, that you were trapped in a situation here where you had a level of intimacy. This could have been a casual relationship for some of you, okay? For some of you, you could have felt trapped in a third-party situation here because I have a Nine of Pentacles underneath there. So it feels like um, there was a sense of being in a third-party dynamic or feeling like you were being isolated or feeling like you needed to take control of your life right now to shift the way that you're thinking okay because it feels like whatever you felt trapped or tied down and you are definitely on your own two feet right now the kiss of faith is this is a faded event here okay you could be feeling on guard right now in this connection right now and your faith is pushing you okay like this is fire energy it's like the nine of wands is the energy here of building she's building a wall around her okay of sticks here of wands okay she's on guard she doesn't trust something here but she's also twirling those wands in this card she's lifting her hands up so it feels like she's coming through whether she or he right you're coming through in the battle right now of ready to take that fire in your belly right now and pursue your dreams okay i feel and that is where the kiss of faith is is to follow your passions, right? You have a, an energy here of a level of intimacy, something that you're fired up about right now, your ambition, right? And I feel that is the fated event here, is the courage under fire right now, Aquarius. This Prince of Hearts here, okay, is a love offer that's coming to you here. This person here is wearing his heart in his sleeve, right? He's got it in his hand. So somebody could be delivering you a very love message right now, flirting with you, someone who's single, someone here is on the move, okay, Aquarius. It feels like this is someone here that's romantic, someone who's coming in to melt your heart, okay. There is a love offer, Aquarius, that's coming at you right now. And I feel that whatever this is here, the energy here of, that's in between here is you could be feeling a little cold, a little detached, a little breaking out of a situation and feeling on guard right now, okay? There is a resistance is what I'm feeling. You feel like you don't even see this love co offer coming in, but it's coming in. Your head is turned the opposite direction this way while someone's coming in. So you don't see love coming in, but it's here, Aquarius. 
Okay, so let's clarify this reading. I pre-shuffled, let's shuffle some more. And this is going to be for Aquarius to clarify this reading of what's coming in. Okay, love. <clears throat> the fates have it for the kiss of faith for Aquarius. Look at this, Aquarius. There you go, the full card and king of wands. Okay, so there you go. Very passionate about this new beginning. I feel that you're unstoppable right now, Aquarius. Okay. It feels like you got that fire in your feet right now to take action. It feels like you've been waiting to be free, okay? There's a lot of freedom, energy, breaking free, a new beginning, nothing holding you back any longer, right? This is the energy of Uranus. So we're going to stop right there. Uranus <clears throat> and Saturn. Saturn goes direct in your sign, okay, after being retrograde. It'll be in your sign on the 23rd. A new adventure begins here. This is a new start, Aquarius, okay? A new trend that you're starting here. Look at this. And you're going right into this, this energy of the eclipse. is a new gateway, a new doorway that's opening. Pluto energy, okay? And King of Wands, okay? So you could have been dealing, okay? This person that's looking at you, <clears throat> highly attracted to you, highly Somebody here that you have a magnetic attraction to is coming at you, okay? This is somebody here, like I feel, who could be a bachelor, okay? Man or a woman, okay? And I feel right now what's in between the both of you during Libra season, okay? There's the, the energy of something here that's starting. It's a new contract, a new relationship, a new shift, right? Bringing in balance, bringing in harmony here to you here, okay? So Aquarius, it feels like you're breaking free from something you were stuck in or felt trapped in. You're no longer in that, okay? Like I feel, it's new for you right now. The kiss of faith is the Scorpio, the Pluto energy of the big eclipse, a powerful, powerful eclipse. Portal gateway that's opening up with the new moon. And it's going to be lighting up a new contract in your life, a new adventure, okay? Okay. That lights this part of your life up now. This is all about yourself, Aquarius, okay? This is going to be about questioning your identity, questioning your self-worth in this situation. You do have the universe supporting you here, okay? The universe is saying this is the moment. Time is ripe right now to build a new grounded level of intimacy, even in your true love sector here, okay? Because there's, there's going to be a, a change that comes, a transformation, okay, that changes with the kiss of faith, with the nine of wands. Chiron, in, in the energy of the wounded warrior, could be opposing Pluto in this energy. So it feels like <clears throat> this change is not a little change. It's a big, huge transformation. A time to evolve, right, Aquarius? And the person that's coming towards you is very attractive, very charming, debonair, right? Someone here that uh, it could be an entrepreneur. This person is somebody here that's single, someone that's ambitious, somebody who, like I feel, is very passionate about taking a leap of faith towards you, okay? So like I feel, the energy is here with Libra coming out also. You could be connecting or having Libra in your chart. Please clarify this King of Swords in this love situation, okay? Like I feel, where is Aquarius? Please, Aquarius, let's check. Let's clarify Aquarius. You got the Page of Pentacles. So you, I feel you're delivering a message. I feel that if you've been waiting on an, on an ad, an, <clears throat> pardon me, if you've been waiting for something here, a resume that you could have put out or delivered a message here, this is the energy of an opportunity that's here. It's a golden opportunity with the page, okay? It's about an energy of something here that's a financial opportunity that you're about to take a leap of faith forward in, okay? So it could be a new career, okay, a new job, being in the job market, being in a financial energy here that you're taking a leap of faith for, okay? What's this nine of wands, please? There you go. The nine of wands is you. It's all about you, Aquarius, right now. These are about the changes you're making that it's all about your image. Questioning 
like I feel, where you're going next, this next step, this next transformation. Um, being more like I feel in a sense of the faded event that's coming in is a sense of you being honest and truthful with yourself, okay? It's having clear thinking. It's a sense of making a very clear choice, taking control of a situation right now, okay? And, and like I feel... Being clear on what must go, what does not work for you any longer because you're shedding. So the King of Swords, like I feel, has a sword here to cut away, okay, what no longer works. It's evolving. It's releasing the old past way here of thinking with the King of Swords, okay, during this faded event. That brings a renewal of the mind here, okay. That brings in a sense of mental clarity, okay. A breakthrough in your thoughts okay that's what I feel Aquarius and let's see what the energy of your person okay and look at this that creates a powerful shift eight of ones something here that creates movement unexpected taking action right there's that burst of fire that comes in in your belly okay light codes downloads of information to get ready to take action that brings in growth Okay, here, eight of wands, take off. So let's see what the Prince of Hearts, let's clarify this Prince of Hearts. This is your significant other that's coming in, love, King of Wands with the Prince of Hearts. So we have two cards and they're, oh, three cards. Devil Energy, Four of Wands and Ten of Wands. Okay, so this person <clears throat> that you have here, as your significant other could have Capricorn heavily in their chart. This could be somebody who's very obsessive, somebody who's very controlling, okay? It feels like this person <clears throat> that you've been dealing with seems to be having a power play and it doesn't work anymore, Ten of Wands. This is someone I feel who's holding a lot of grudges against you, Aquarius, okay? This is someone here with the devil energy. They have a toxic behavior, okay? Someone here could be restrained, okay, from you, okay? Like I feel, they're looking at you, okay? You don't see them looking at you. You're looking that way. <clears throat> so I feel you're getting ready to break free from a karmic connection here, Aquarius, that you were dealing with someone here. For some of you, you could have been married to this person. For some of you, you were living with this person. For some of you, like I feel, this was somebody here that you could have spent... Um, like I feel, a live-in relationship, okay? It also feels like with the Ten of Wands, this is somebody here who is very jealous, very envious of you, okay? Somebody here is holding a grudge against you, Aquarius, is what I feel. <clears throat> Pardon me. And they're, they're someone who hangs on devil energy, codependency, right? This is somebody who is very obsessive with you, is what I'm feeling. They can be deceptive here, okay? impulsive and abusive okay so like i'm feeling here they could be very self-centered aquarius and it feels like this person ten of wands is getting ready to let go okay they're ready to give up here because this ten of wands can't even see a way forward at this time right now okay so it feels like they need to drop those burdens here okay and then <clears throat> let's see and look that's the truth ace of swords you could be carrying communication from this person uh, within a day. And you're going to hear the truth, okay? So it feels like somebody here is getting ready to, to bring in, like I feel, the moment of truth in a situation that brings a lot of clarity here. These could be hurtful words that are coming in from this person also. <clears throat> Take me back, please, to Aquarius. Let's clarify. Aquarius with the King of Swords. Having the truth and setting you free. Is what I'm feeling here. And there you go. Eight of Pentacles. This is definitely a career move for a lot of you. This page of Pentacles is going right into self-mastery. Eight of Pentacles. You're very talented. It's like the energy here that you're building on with this new resume. You have the skill set, okay, for this. You're more than qualified. You're ready to engage. You're ready to be very focused, okay, on your work, right? Education. This could be uh, going back to school, getting um, a higher degree, a master's degree 
for some of you, you're very focused. You're taking time out right now and focus, focusing on your work and your financial life is what I feel, Aquarius. <clears throat> Let's get another card. Yeah, and two of wands. So it feels like, Aquarius, you... It's like whatever you're doing right now with the two of wands, you see you're looking that way, two of wands. You haven't yet made that step yet, okay? You're thinking about it, okay? The two of wands is the energy here of, of collecting and gathering, okay? Everything that you need in the physical realm here for you to get ready, but not making the purchase. Like getting everything ready, preparing what do you need, reviewing your list of what you, what you require, for this new start and then getting ready to take the step. But the two of wands is you have not yet discovered this new idea that's coming in. The two of wands is a feeling here of making future plans. Okay. Uh, getting ready here to travel for some of you. This could mean travel. This could be expanding outward like for yourself. So this is expansion and growth. Okay. And that's what I feel here. So you're taking a leadership role, okay? This is definitely a leadership role. This could be a raise. This could be um, gaining public recognition for your skill set, okay? Self-mastery. Let's see what the Nine of Wands is and the Fated Event, the Kiss of Fate for you, Aquarius. There you go. The Empress is here, Venus and Taurus. So we have the Divine Feminine here and the Five of Cups here. Okay. There is a loss. Okay. This is a mother figure. Okay. This could be a mother, a feminine figure that has a child. Okay. Five of Cups. There is someone here that's going to regret the loss. Okay. Over this connection. I feel that you are in this Empress vibe. You could have Taurus in your chart. Okay. Okay. Or Libra, we saw that energy. You could. This is your feminine aspect also here. So the Nine of Wands is right now. You could be feeling the pain and loss, okay, from a partnership, something that's ending, right? Because Scorpio tells me it's like having that strength and that courage here to end a relationship that no longer works, okay? Cutting out somebody, and the fated event is going to be Venus, right? Venus is the energy here of the fates have it. It's like Venus enters uh, Libra right now. You're a magnet right now, okay, for love and affection and attention. The fated event is elevation, right? Venus rules money. She rules love, partnerships, relationships. And it feels like whatever this is right now, it's like a sense of getting back up, right? If you felt emotionally in a situation that you hit, um, a place of rock bottom in or where you feel a loss, okay? Where someone here, like I feel, is ready to give up. It's like a test of faith here, okay? You're going to feel this abundance energy here of the Empress coming in here. And it's funny, the Empress is Taurus and Scorpio. This is the eclipse gateway that you're going through, Aquarius. Pluto is ruled, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. V Taurus is ruled by Venus. This is the gateway that's happening from now to November. November 11th, I believe, is the lunar eclipse in the sign of Taurus here. So this is going to open up, bing, it's like bing, 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 big door. These effects can last up to six months to a year, okay? And it's going to be the eclipse season that's going to bring in a new beginning that's going to light up new contracts, new adventures, new that way of looking at yourself now, okay? Because the Empress energy is the energy here of uh, love, right? Self-love, self-care, appreciation here. And the Nine of Wands is the feeling here of you have, like I feel, the test of faith right now, okay? If you've been feeling burnt out <clears throat> or in a disappointment energy here, you are getting ready to take that next step to start a new beginning that's going to light up is what I feel for you. See, the moon card. It's going to be an energy like I feel right now. There could be things that are hidden, secrets, okay? Moon card. Um, a feeling here of your dreams, right? The energy also is there's fear, there's anxiety that's here right now with the moon. And the moon is going to be like I feel it's a big energy. 
There's also four of cups here. You are not interested any longer, Aquarius. It feels like emotionally you don't trust this person. You are feeling a disharmony. There's discontent here. There's anxieties right now with the moon card and the four of cups, right? Very emotional, feeling very sensitive. And the Hierophant is Venus and Taurus, your higher self coming in to let you know there was someone here, Seven of Swords, that was definitely in a, a feeling you don't trust this person, their behavior. This is someone here who was sneaky, someone who was getting away with something, someone who was taking advantage of, feeling taken advantage of in a relationship, Aquarius. And it feels like you're getting ready here. If you are, like I feel, somebody here is secretively getting ready to sneak away. If somebody here was in a partnership or like a family dynamic, somebody here is getting ready, like I felt, to sneak away from a situation here, okay? I'm seeing this energy here. There's an ace of wands. So like I feel, be careful because this is somebody here that I feel wanted a casual sex. Somebody here that wanted a casual relationship but yet very codependent on you, Aquarius, right? So for some of you, like I feel there could have been a level of uh, what you believe, your belief system, something here that's just not traditional for you, okay? It's untraditional is what I'm feeling here. So be careful because the Empress is here also. There could be something here about a pregnancy being very fertile. So protect yourself if you don't want pregnancy. It's here, Ace of Wands for some of you, okay? Someone could have been trying to keep somebody tied down, right? Also here, and you're getting ready to break free. You're being tested is what I feel. So Aquarius, let's get a Romance Oracle to end this reading here. Yeah. So it feels like somebody here is rejected. Definitely, I feel that you're rejecting an offer here from someone. And someone here has got codependency, okay? This is for Aquarius, for advice in love. For mid-October, from the 13th to the end of October 2022, in love for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign in love. Aquarius, yeah, somebody here, like I feel you have, could have a daddy figure here, someone who's coming in, wants to heal family issues. Your love life will benefit as you forgive your parents. So there is, like I feel, an emotional trauma bond here, okay, with a father figure. Someone here that went to aban went through abandonment from a father, okay? Trying to come in and heal this relationship where there are children involved, okay? Let's see. And staying optimistic about your love life, Aquarius. Positive thinking and faith will bring you in a romance. So, optimism, I do see that's where you're at right now and wedding okay for some of you this situation involved a marriage for some of you you were married to this person okay and this could be someone like i feel that that had a lot of traumatic energy here okay there was specifically like i feel a father figure here okay someone here like i feel that that's oh that's asking for healing a family dynamic that has children in a situation for some of you, you were married to this person or it involved a marriage. Someone could have been engaged in a relationship, right? Engaged for marriage. So like I feel right now, Aquarius, this is the energy of staying open-minded right now, okay? Optimistic here about your love life right now. So I'm going to leave the reading there, Aquarius. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate you.